Hi, this is Alan Saunders for Pittsburgh Sports Live at Spectrum Stadium here in Orlando, Florida, where uh, it was an embarrassing afternoon for the Pitt Panthers as the number 13 UCF Knights just basically did whatever they wanted with Pitt on the way to a 45-14 to victory. And, uh, you know, it was the kind of game where it didn't seem like Pitt could do much of anything right. Outside of an, a Rafael Arujo Lopes punt return, Pitt didn't score again until the last few minutes of the fourth quarter. And in the meantime, the Knights showed why they're one of the best teams in the country. Um, that was part of the message from the Pitt locker room that, hey, you know, they may be a group of five team, but uh, they're ranked for a reason. They went undefeated last season for a reason. And uh, this is a quality opponent uh, that Pitt couldn't get the job done against. UCF is a, is a talented team. I mean, they, they've been undefeated for, what, a year. Um, you know, they haven't lost a game. I mean, they are a talented team. You know, I, we had expectations. Um, you know, we were supposed to dominate, we're supposed to win. But, you know, that's a talented team. So, you know, they get what they deserve. However, there's certainly a lot that the Panthers did not like about the way they played today, particularly the penalties. Pitt had over 100 yards of penalties, and they also took away a couple of their defense's biggest plays uh, with a defensive holding call and with a roughing the passer penalty. Um, Pat Narduzzi says he doesn't have an answer as to why Pitt has become so much more heavily penalized this season after being one of the least penalized teams in the conference in his first three seasons. You know, you got, you know, plays to be made. I mean, the penalties, again, continue to, uh, you know, I've never seen, we, you know, the last two years we've been one of the least penalized football teams in, in the country, okay? Uh, I think the least penalized in the ACC, all of a sudden, you know, um, we're, we're one of the, the highest. It just doesn't, you know, it just doesn't, it doesn't calculate with me. It's just not what we teach. Um, it's not what we normally get. I, I don't understand that. I don't have an answer for that, and it bothers me. That's the worst thing. It's been some second-half penalties, and today it's, you know, um, you know, don't have an answer for it. I don't get it. Um, should be a two-way go, and it ain't. But uh, I just don't understand. So I wish I had an answer for you there. Where does Pitt go from here? Well, they've got to go back into the ACC next week and play a Syracuse team that lost to Clemson today in a close one, uh, and. It's not going to be an easier challenge for Pitt's defense. In fact, Syracuse's offense does a lot of the same things that Central Florida's does. And, um, you know, the challenge is going to be can Pitt play its best game on defense? Because to this point, they haven't. They've made mistakes. They've missed tackles. They've taken too many penalties. There just hasn't been a clean performance from the Panthers. That's what linebacker Quentin Virginis says they're still looking for. Yeah, absolutely. And, and it's going to click. Uh, and these guys – we, we just got to trust the process, continue to work hard, um, you know, keep our faith uh, in what we've been saying all, all spring ball, all off season, and, and it's going to click. And you just got to keep going. Uh, you said it's not easy, but, you know, it's, we got to do a great job as a team, just keeping each other focused on, on what we want, and, and nothing changes, you know, nothing changes. Our goals don't change after a loss like this. Uh, just gotta keep chipping away each day. So just gotta work harder. Quick thing. That's it from Orlando. Wrapping things up for Pittsburgh Sports Live. I'm Alan Saunders. We'll be back next week when the Panthers host Syracuse at Heinz Field.